Hey guys, it's Dave. Uh, I'm going to show you some re-rave beta. Uh, Chris and Kyle were nice enough to let me get the game uh, along with a few others to, uh, to test it in the beta period. Um, I've had it for about half a day. It's really fun so far. Uh, I'll kind of go into some of the gameplay mechanics, um, some of the stuff people haven't shown yet, some of the features of the game. Uh, I like it so far. I'll show some of the stuff I really like, some of the things I don't. Also, I apologize, the camera quality is a little shitty. I'm using my phone. I don't know how to play, just to kind of... There's a really, really basic tutorial that you just kind of go through. But, uh, if you haven't seen the game before, basically you'll have these notes that will appear on screen. Um, they'll turn as soon as they hit the 12 o'clock position. You're supposed to hit them. Uh, the closer you get to the 12 o'clock position, the more points you get. And this game also grades you on how close you hit the center of the arrow. So, in addition to basically hitting it timing it accurately it also grades you on how close you hit it so there's like two different factors you get you can see you'll hit there will be times where you have to hit two notes at a time you have these multi taps where you know you have to boom boom hit them as many times as those arrows come up you'll have holds you basically hold it you'll have your follow things you basically have to keep your finger on it. You get points that way. Um, to be honest, though, the fall things are the one... I don't know. I don't really like them that much. That's just kind of a particular thing. I just feel like, I don't know, they're gimmicky or something. Start. Now, as you see, you'll have uh, your own account that you can make. I have my uh, awesome little avatar there. Um, you basically... Um, you can make your account. Go back from that. Um, it's linked to an email address. Um, basically, everything's stored in a cloud. Um, all, so basically, if I were to go on someone else's iPhone or get the iPad version or something like that, what I could do is just log in, and all my stats, all my scores will be basically downloaded and maintained there. So that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if you can see this here. You do level up and get XP. Um, there's really no point to it <laughs> really right now. Um, as you play songs, you basically level up and get XP. It's basically on how much you play. Uh, it doesn't really unlock a whole lot. There's a few achievements and awards that you get for, like, leveling out to a certain period. But, um, there's not, like, songs or anything it unlocks when you do that. Um, I'll go to the song store. No, nothing's going to show right now because I've already downloaded everything. But, um, basically you'll have these different tabs. It's kind of hard to see on this video. But you can sort by all. You can sort by premium songs, which are basically the songs you'll have to pay for. And you sort by three. Um, to start out with, with at least the beta right now, the actual game itself will come with three songs. Um, the reason with that being is the actual download is going to be about 20 megabytes. Uh, if it's any more, you can't download it on 3G. So they purposely made sure to keep the download limit low, so it's a lot easier to do. Um, the beta itself has 16 songs. Uh, I don't know how much the final release is going to have. It'll at least have the 16 that we have. Um, there's 30 songs on the site right now. Uh, they said for at least the initial release period, they're going to try and plan to release about 5 or 10 songs for every 2 weeks. Um, they're hoping to get a lot of content up really quickly. Uh, it downloads pretty fast. I'm on, I have an iPod uh, Touch 3G, 3rd gen. Uh, downloaded really fast over Wi-Fi. Um, they said over a 3G network they were able to get some of the downloads to go in about 45 seconds to a minute. So um, it's pretty good. It was really smooth. Uh, let's show the scores. You can basically, you'll have your scores. You'll be able to browse various things that you have. Um, there's, um, from what I've played, uh, you can, however many points you get, you'll either get, like, a B. I don't, I haven't gotten anything lower than a B. I don't think you can get a C. I've tried really terrible, and I still have a B. So, you can get up from a B to an A to, like, a one star, two star, three star. Uh, a three star is really, really tough to get. It's, like, hitting 97% accurately and getting rhythm. It's really hard. I haven't gotten it on any of the hard songs. You could probably get it on the easy songs. I've gotten a couple double stars, and several stars. Those haven't been hard. Um, there are awards, kind of like achievements you can go through. Um, certain ones will unlock. You can kind of click on them and it'll show you what you can do. Some of them are pretty fun. There's one that's like, 
you know, loner, and it's like, play this game on Valentine's Day, which is, you know, fun. There's like 118 awards right now. I'm sure they can add them uh, through patches and different things. Those are really easy to patch on. Some of them are like, play an entire song without having sound on or have really terrible accuracy. Let me go back. Hold on, the settings. There's a really nice thing that they have in here. If you go to advanced settings, you can adjust the uh, input offset and the visual offset. Uh, they said the reason being is if you, for some reason, wanted to hook it up to like a big sound system or something like that, you can adjust for that. Um, I haven't had to use it so far, but it's really nice to have that option for people if you're really picky, if something feels really off sync or something. So that's nicer than to have the foresight to have that. Go back. Get an actual start. So you see, you'll be able to scroll through. Um, there's 16 songs right now. The default sort is by alphabetical. You'll also have difficulty, popularity, and BPM. It's kind of nice because if you get a popularity, it sorts it by like global popularity. So right now, Beat Beat Boom is the most popular in Sweet World second, Crazy Loops third. That's kind of not surprising. Uh, let's see. We'll go with Crazy Loop. So as you see here, um, it lists, it's really hard to see on this phone. Um, there's three different things. You'll have the global high score, which is the one up here. That's basically the person who has the highest thing. You'll have the uh, global rival score, which is basically the score who's closest to you. And then you have your score down here. Uh, if you click this, It'll bring up basically a global leaderboard so you can see where you rank on everything. They have it for every song, which is kind of nice. You have, uh, there's three difficulties. You have Easy, Hard, and Master. Uh, the Master stuff basically all ranges, because that's what most everyone's probably going to be playing. That basically all ranges from 7 to 9. Um, it's pretty good so far. I'll do a really quick gameplay example. You have your little life bar over here. Now you can pause during the game. You can see, you can restart, you can do resume, you can do abort, which basically takes you out. Um, up here, it kind of shows you how many seconds you have left, which is nice. Uh, you have your life bar over here. Uh, there are background transitions, as you can see. Uh, they haven't shown that in the alpha. That's something they've added recently. Um, some people have said, you know, they should be more complex and stuff. Uh, the reason they aren't kind of more than these simple things is because of two reasons. Number one, they said they've tried to experiment with that, and they said it was really distracting. And the second reason being they said when they had the more complex background sequences, um, there was a giant performance hit, especially on the lower end eye devices. So they're basically trying to make sure that this game works as optimally as possible on as many devices as possible. So let me get to a board. Um... You can also view song information. You can see scores. Kind of shows you uh, how many times I've played it locally, how many times it's been played globally, the popularity of it. Uh, you can go, I guess, to the website that's right there. Uh, this game's pretty fun. Um, there's a few complaints I have with it. Um, one of them being right now, uh, there's only like 16 songs, and I've played a lot of them quite a lot so far. Turn down the sound so far, to, so you can hear me. Um, there's like 16 songs, and I'm getting kind of bored of it. I don't know how many songs are going to be at release, but I can see getting bored of the 16 songs fairly quickly. Um, one of my complaints is also, this isn't necessarily related to the game, but just kind of related to iDevices in general. Uh, some of the songs will have like 16s where you have to hit them like really quick, like ba da -dum. Um It won't register it a lot of the times, just because... I've seen that on like Tap Tap Revenge and Rock Band. It doesn't do a really good job of registering it really quickly, which kind of sucks. And also, it really sucks trying to sight read stuff. Um, it's you can't really distinguish like a hold note or a follow note or anything like that uh, really well. And if you haven't sight read, especially some of the harder stuff, 
the screen will get filled with stuff really quick, and it's really hard to tell what you're supposed to press next. So you have to play a song usually several times, even after playing it for a while. If I'm singing a song for the first time on a harder difficulty, uh, I have to play it several times to kind of get the basic feel of it. Um, it's really good so far. Um, I would definitely still get it. Um, I don't know the pricing scheme yet. It comes out in like about a week. It comes out on March 10th. That's still the release date. Um, they got coders working 24-7 to basically fix the rest of the bugs and do all that stuff. We're bug reporting right now. But um, it's really good. Um, it's fun. Uh, if people want to, I can get some gameplay videos and some stuff. Uh, particular songs in particular. Rain Spark was pretty fun. Uh, yeah, that's about it right now. Thanks, guys.